I already told you I don't have it! Help! shows off his thunder wave. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? I wonder when the goblins will come. <coughs> True. Say, are you looking forward to it? I could use the target practice. Goblins. Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. Bravery? No. When it gets you killed, it's just called stupidity. That was lesson one. If Liam had only bloody listened. More mercies. Wound looks clean. Small mercies. Get back, kid. I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you? Right. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though? A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Luck's been on our side this far. No reason to think it'll run out now. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. I'll talk to the guards in Baldur's Gate. I speak their language. My love, you were a caravan escort for three days. You sound like you. Get back, kid. I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you?
chalet. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! I said I don't have it. Maybe he dropped it running away from those big scary goblins. You little spit tug freak! What kind of question is that? Why does anyone steal anything? Fine. I have the stupid amulet. Take it. To impress a girl, most like. It looked like my mother's, all right? Just take the damn thing and leave me alone! Keep it, kid. You need it more than me. Poor kid. <laughs> Thanks for stepping between me and the kid. My mum gave me that amulet. But I think she'd be happy knowing the kid, is it, now? Yeah. I know she would. We're exposed now. You're all right by me. We're packing up, and I'd advise you to do the same. Seems our kind ain't welcome here.
Have you spoken to Korga? Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the Druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes, of course. So we're in Eltergard. That means Baldur's Gate lies west. Rather far west, even. These little markings look like goblins and gnolls. Right in our path. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Avernus changed things. Best we get used to that. Yes. Zephlor. Never a dull moment. <clears throat> Blackets will be done. Shah's blessings upon you. Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. <laughs> there's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Ex 
Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. So many ways to die. You're one of those drow, right? I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Us too. No one says anything nice about tieflings. Here, want to see a trick? Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. Call it, heads or tails. Heads it is. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat too, interested? You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Nothing caught your eye, huh? Far be it from me to argue with that discerning eye of yours, sir. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. You realize your bag feels light. You were just robbed. some stuff? Me? No, promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. You know who you should talk to? Moll. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. You bet. Good luck, pal. Me? 
suspicious? No? Before you can say anything else, she sprints away. That's curious. Not a chance off in there. Not a chance off in there. daughter go right now she's a thief hell spawn and you will wait for Korga's judgment now get back oh let me through rag Rochem, or i'll rip your damn throat out <gasps> Give him a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. But a word of warning. One wrong move, and every single animal here will tear you apart. We need to get Arabella out! Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corka to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh! Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. This grove is like a cauldron about to boil over. I say we check in on the child, make sure she comes to no harm. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting! She must be terrified. I bet she's giving them hell. She's not our kid for nothing. Deceive me! A drow! Here! Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already back. 
racked with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. My, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. Uh -huh. I've always preferred experience to the second-hand accounts of lesser men, but to each their own. Now, I've a few more questions, if you don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon! How marvelous. Thank heaven you were here to specify, or I might have recorded a bold-faced lie. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursheim friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Mm. Yes, yes, I'm quite aware. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, 
overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. In short, I've grown to trust you. I was being quite sincere, I assure you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital, dare I say it, critical. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. My Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind.
Support the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. The stars tonight smile and pain will fade away. Thank you. I was having trouble finding the words. It's been so long since I... since... sorry. Damn it. I don't usually. I'm all right. I haven't finished a song since Lihala died. I haven't played at all, if I'm honest. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that meter and make me play it over and over again. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn for her. I have a long way to go. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. Thanks. Lehala made me love music. The sound, the feel, the thrill. But when she died, it was gone. Until now, I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch in my fingers to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to her. Thank you. I... I needed this.
Come on, open up. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Never a dull moment. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Dance upon the sun. Smile. 